Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wai from Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital and Ferret Park Hospital. I want to talk about reflux, okay? I just had a patient asking me, Dr. Wai, I'm very worried. I said, why? I have reflux problem. I know, I diagnosed you having reflux problem. And I read from the internet that reflux can cause cancer. So my reflux doesn't lead to cancer. Yes, uh, this is a common uh, issue, okay? Patient always ask, does reflux cause cancer? Uh, reflux actually can cause cancer. In fact, if you Google the word, does reflux cause cancer, answer is unanimously yes. And of course, I always joke with my patients saying that if you check on Google or other search engine on whether a symptom uh, can be caused by cancer, the answer is almost always yes, okay? They will always say, yes, your symptom can be caused by a lot of problems, but it can be caused by cancer. Your condition can lead to a list of complications including cancer. Cancer will always appear as one of the possible diagnoses whenever you search. And my feeling is that they want to be sure that you will consult a doctor. Imagine you have some symptom, you see a doctor, the doctor say it can never be cancer. Frankly, nobody can be, be so sure. And really one day you have a problem, you're going to take legal action against the doctor. So for most of the website, most of the website on Google, they will tell you that, well, it could be it's most likely blah, 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 but it could still be cancer. It may lead to cancer. So don't get too alarmed when you Google. Be sure that you'll find the word cancer whenever you Google a term. Now, going back to reflux, reflux means uh, the junction between the esophagus and the stomach is lax, so food can drop down, can also come up. When the exit contents, gastric can come up to the esophagus, they cause symptoms. And one of the complications for reflux is that it can cause esophageal cancer. And we believe, it, what we believe is that the exit from the stomach go up to the esophagus, it irritates the esophagus lining. We actually can see the esophageal lining change from the esophagus lining to more like an intestinal lining, okay? So we call it intestinal metaplasia. That means from a squamous cell, from a lining of our esophagus, it becomes like columnar cells, look like an esophageal lining. The medical term is intestinal metaplasia, or commonly known as Barrett's esophagus. So I told my patient, if you have barrier esophagus, there's a small risk that you may become cancer. Experts uh, estimate that the risk of cancer from barrier esophagus to esophageal cancer is approximately 0.5% per year. Now, I must say that this 0.5% is a very rough estimate based on many, many studies. And there's basically a divergence of view. If you ask me who is just a normal gastroenterologist, I do a lot of scopes. I pick up a lot of barrier esophagus, but, but I hardly see any esophageal cancer. I hardly see any patient, or uh, hardly means I see one esophageal cancer every two or three years. When I see barrier esophagus, maybe several cases a week, I saw reflux patient every day. So I am doubtful if esophageal is acid reflux can lead to barriers and if barrier can lead to cancer in a significant way. So I'm a bit doubtful. So anyway, experts say that the risk of cancer is 0.5% a year for barrier esophagus. And there are a list of high-risk patients that can have a higher risk of esophageal cancer. I will name it to you. Overweight people. Fast people have more cancer than thin people, particularly esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer, and womb cancer. In fact, our whole digestive tract from esophageal, stomach, pancreas, liver, and the colon the risk of these cancers are higher in people that are overweight. So being fat, being overweight, increases your risk of esophageal cancer. Cigarette smoking increases the risk of esophageal cancer together with lung cancer, so don't smoke, okay? Other than that will be, uh, actually reflux can cause that. Too much alcohol may increase the risk of esophageal cancer. And some studies even show that if you love to drink a lot of hot drink, boiling water soup, boiling water tea, no good for the esophagus. Uh, they can also increase the risk of esophageal cancer. So if you don't have this risk factor like me, I don't like to drink a hot stuff, I don't have barrier esophagus, I'm not fat, okay, at this time, I don't smoke, I don't consume alcohol at all, then my risk of uh, esophageal cancer is very, very low. And same for you, okay, my patient. If you have uh, a barrier esophagus, then it would, that would be increase the risk of esophageal cancer. It will be logical to lose weight, not to smoke, not to consume alcohol, don't take too much, uh, too much uh, uh, hot, boiling hot food, okay? And if you have a visual, uh, if you have barrier esophagus, we do recommend that you do uh, what we call endoscopic surveillance. Experts say every two to three years, see your doctor,
do an upper endoscopy, check the esophagus, see whether the barrier progress. Okay, but if the scope you do for your reflux show no barrier esophagus, uh, then you don't have to worry. You are not going to get esophageal cancer in the foreseeable future. If you are barrier, they don't change from barrier to cancer overnight. They will change from barrier esophagus to low grade dysplasia. Dysplasia means abnormal cells to high grade dysplasia to cancer. So if you have barrier esophagus but you have no dysplasia, you are still some distance away from uh, having uh, esophageal cancer. So to sum up, my patient, I told her that I scoped you recently, there's no barrier esophagus, you're not going to get esophageal cancer in the foreseeable future. But do practice good lifestyle to help your overall health, well-being. Don't smoke, don't consume excessive alcohol, don't eat boiling hot food, and uh, uh, don't be fat, try to keep your body weight uh, norm, within normal range. And if you do have barrier esophagus, not to worry. If you have no dysplasia, you're fine. Just need to do a scope every two to three years to re-biopsy the esophageal junction to see if they turn from barrier to dysplasia. If you have no dysplasia, the risk of you getting cancer is still very, very low. I've seen a lot of as reflux, some barrier, but I hardly see esophageal cancer. I don't think the risk is that high in general. Thanks for listening. This is Dr. Tess again.